If you fart continually for six years, nine months, do you produce enough energy for an atomic bomb? Well, every day you make half a litre of fart, of which 20% is hydrogen. That means over 2,500 days of all that time, you're going to make 250 litres. That's 20 grams of hydrogen, 20 grams of hydrogen, my data book says that's 2,860 kilojoules. 2,860 kilojoules is enough for a 100 watt light bulb for 8 hours. An atomic bomb is 52 billion kilojoules, it would take you 100 million years to do that. If you fart continuously for 6 years, 9 months, do you produce enough energy for an atomic bomb? Well, every fart, that's half a litre of its 20% is hydrogen. That if you do it for six years, nine months, that's 2,500 days. My data book here says that two grams gives 286 kilojoules, so that 20 grams gives 2,860. 250 litres of hydrogen is only 20 grams. That's a 100 watt light bulb for eight hours. An atomic bomb, 52 billion kilojoules, you'd have to fart 100 million years. Can you use a gherkin as a light bulb? A lot of us have seen Stephen Fry do it. Can it be done? Look inside a gherkin, no wires. What's going on? Gherkins, they're just cucumbers. Cucumber, 95% water. A gherkin, put into acid for a long, long time. There's a lot of fluid in there. It's not a light bulb. You're setting it on fire, and because there's so much water in there, the water is evaporating off, taking the heat away. A light bulb, not in your life. You're just burning it. When I drop a raisin into my fizzy drink, it falls to the bottom and on the surface of the raisin are what we call nucleation sites. These are points at which the gas that's inside there comes out of solution and forms little bubbles. That will make the raisin slowly rise to the top. As it goes up to the top, it then has less pressure holding bubbles on, the bubbles drop off and it goes down. It's all due to nucleation sites and there's a lot of nucleation sites in Mentos. Can I start a fire by rubbing together two Doritos? Let's try and see, shall we? If we rub, is it going to get hot enough? No. Why not? Well, the reason is, if I do it with two pieces of wood, what I'm doing is I'm transferring my kinetic energy, movement energy, into heat energy through friction between the two pieces of wood. Doritos, all they do is crumble. They're too brittle. But then what I can use Doritos for, if I take it and put it in the fire, it'll keep the fires burning, because nothing burns quite as well as a Doritos. But why do Doritos burn so well? Well here, I put some Doritos into some hexane. That's a bit like petrol, but what it does, it dissolves fat. And if you look in there, can you see that brown color that's come out of the Doritos? And the Doritos themselves are now pale, because all the fat has come out of the Doritos into these hexane in there. So Doritos have a lot of fat in them. That's partially why they burn so well. I'm going to show you just how well I can get Doritos to burn. What I've got in this test tube here is something that helps things burn better. It's called an oxidizing agent. An oxidizing is just a posh word for burning. So I'm going to heat this up, just put it in there with the stuff that makes things burn, and look what happens. All that heating and burning taking place just from these Doritos. We've smashed the test tube. All that energy just in one crushed Torino Dorito.